All right, well, welcome to round two. Me v Tim, right, we have both mulligan the six, Peter. and uh, Tim's on the play. Yep. Uh, I'll just start with Blood Fell Caves, go to 21 and pass. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, All right, well, let's start with... Also, sorry, I'll start. Yeah. I have not played this deck at all. Pass. I'll draw a card. And I just, I figured out that... I'm going to play Swamp. Yep. And I'm going to play Tenacious Underdog. You got it. And pass. Uh, and your turn. Yeah. Flash Inspector Saga. Yep. Sure. Uh, your Too much. Yeah. Your, your turn. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I will play Hengegate Pathway. Move to combat. Okay. Take you for one. And go to 20. And I will pass. Right. Draw a card. Alright. Mm. I don't like that you have two mana open. It's kind of, it's kind of scary. Is it? Oh yeah, definitely. No, it's not is it. This, this is blue white. <laughs> okay. I, I, I see. It's Zori. <laughs> I don't know if you're running some other card for... Don't you run Collected Company or something? I run some cards, some number of cards <laughs> that are other things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. around 60 cards in total. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. I'll just play Bloodfell Caves, go to 21. Back to 21, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will tap one mana, play Cold and Familiar. Okay. Does that resolve? Yeah. All right, I'll go to 22, you go to 19. And then combat phase. I'm gonna throw out my three two. Okay. I go to sixteen. All right, and I'll pass. All right. I'll play botanical sanctum. And uh, play an Empyrean eagle. Okay. Move combat. Yep. Take you for two. All right, I'll go to 20. Again, 20, man. <laughs> uh, I will pass. Right. I was surprised you didn't flash something out last turn. I know. It's a little unfortunate. Right. I'll draw my card. I'm going to play a mountain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick Blood Chief's Thirst, kill okay. the eagle. Combat phase, swing for four. Go to 12. I'll pass to you. This is not looking very good for me. This is, <laughs> I'm like, that's not the land I thought it was. <laughs> Play Boulder Wolf Pathway on the right. Um, combat. Attack for one. All right, I go to 19. Yeah, finally under, under 20. Uh, pass. All right. Draw my card. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel like you might have something for this, but I'll try it. I'm gonna play claim the firstborn on your dude. Claim the firstborn on my guy, huh? Yes. Yeah, you get what? What does claim read? It's um, like take control of it. Yeah, if it's under three mana, untap it, then it gains haste. Okay. You can take control of my guy. All right, and then I will attack for three, four, five damage. All right. Uh, seven. Mm -hmm. All right. And then second main phase, I'll tap a swamp. I'm gonna play village rights on your spectral sailor. Uh, as the cost. So, as so he's no cost to cast yeah, as it. the yeah. cost. Yeah. Uh, I'll respond. Uh, Collected company. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Can I have a witness a little bit? So, because he's a vampire, so they can both be three mana cards. Mm -hmm. He even has flavor text. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to go with Skyclave Apparition and Supreme Phantom. Okay. Uh, Apparition's going to eat the familiar. Oh, I, I, I did the second main phase. You already took the damage. Or, oh, wait, you're exiling, exiling it. I, I thought you were yeah. saying eat as in, like, no, combat no, block. We're going we're gonna to exile that. So, um, and then you have a resolved village, right? Yes. This goes, I draw two. Right. Tap two. Mm -hmm. Play Blood Tith Harvester. Yep. Get a blood token. Yep. And I will pass to you. The hell with Fountain Tapped. Yeah, you're on step. Yes. Proceed. Okay, so I asked you to Wait, um. Skyclad Apparition? Eat the Harvester? Okay. <laughs> and I will... Swing for four damage? Mm. We beat it seven really stinks. So we're actually just gonna swing for one here. Okay. Yes. Alright, uh, at the end step, I'm gonna sacrifice the bud token, discard a card, yep. draw a card. Alright. Untap. Draw a card. Play a mountain. Gonna swing for three damage. Okay, they trade? Yep. You get a 1 1. Yep. Uh, I'll just say that this is a 1 1. Yep. And I think I'm actually gonna blip it at my second main. Okay. Just so I can draw a card. It's actually pay two life. Then end step. That gets yep. sacrificed. I draw a card. Then I. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, cemetery Illuminator. Uh, when enters the battlefield, attacks exile a card from a graveyard. We're gonna exile Tenacious Underdog. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually need that though, cause so I'm gonna look at the top card of my library anytime, and then once each turn, I'm gonna cast a spell from the top of my library if it shares a card type with a card exile with some turn. I see. So creature cards. Yep. Um, all right. Let's move to combat. Attack you for four. Okay. I'll go to twelve. Um, I will pass. All right. Draw my card. Yep. Play a swamp. Tap five mana. Cool. Play invoke despair. What's that one? Uh, sacrifice a creature, enchantment, and planeswalker. And then repeat it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. In response, I'm going to flash in a spectral sailor. Uh -huh. um, okay, so I'll sack the spectral sailor. And take four damage. Yep. Three. All right. I'll draw two cards. Yep. All right. I will uh, pass my turn. Um, that was a pretty good card at the top of your deck. 
What's that? <laughs> uh, it was like the spectral sailor yeah, came in yeah. time. <laughs> Fairly timely there. Um, move to combat. Take you for three, six, seven. Okay. I'll go to five. I'm going to play this on play this on green. Okay. Um, play a remorseful cleric. It's a two one flyer, saga, exile, all cards from it. Oh, sorry, cemetery re or illuminator trigger. Exile a card from graveyard. Oh. Wait. Oh. But so it just so it's whenever it attacks, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile a card from a graveyard. I see flower. Um I'm gonna choose village rights. Sure. Um this one's really popular. Sorry. Okay, fine. Um I don't know if you can flash back with village rights or not, but um I will pass. Okay. Now you can cast an instant from the top. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You have a fistful of cards again. Yeah, that's funny how that happens. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right play, but wait, what does that guy do? Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Okay. If I, I can sacrifice it to exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Okay. Hmm. This does not look good for me. Well, I'll just try sacrificing this draw two cards. Sure. All right. I'm going to Blood Chief's Thirst your two draws. I'm going to Blood Chief's Thirst my Cleric. Yeah. Uh, in response, I'll sacrifice a tax out of your Sure. <laughs> Pay four mana, yep. take two damage, and I'm going to blitz in my underdog and attack for three damage. Response. Collecting company? Ah, well, hopefully there's no creatures <laughs> anywhere. Um, hey, as it turns out, I'm actually going to. So, in response, so this is you casting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperian Eagle and Spellcaller. Oh, okay. I think that's probably a game. Okay. That was my last, uh... Last ditch effort there. Basically, that was actually yeah. a pretty good one, though, like... Yeah, you were just at three health, yeah. coincidentally, which was nice. I'm surprised that, like, more people aren't playing Tenacious Underdog. I, I like him, just for, like, the card draw, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like... When I killed him, I was like, man, I hope he doesn't blitz in the second main to, like, just draw a card. And then you did it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> That advantage, that card advantage. I imagine you run four copies of Collected Company? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and I'm thinking if, like, if you activate the Haven, Oh yeah, I, I could probably side deck too. I don't have a choice. I gotta, gotta. <laughs> oh, your deck's so strong already. Oh, not like that. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if this is even good to put in my deck. Uh, yeah. Oh, this guy was upside down. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll be on the play again. Okay. Since, I don't know, I feel like giving you first turn would be detrimental. What? I don't know what, what you're even thinking you're talking about there. Extra turn to flash everything out. <laughs> nah, nah. I was surprised to see the spell caller so late, because I, I yeah. figured I would have seen um, him a lot sooner. I had one in my hand when you cast the underdog there, but I figured the collecting company was probably safer in case you had, like, um, I don't know what one mana I would removal. If there's any instant speed. So I figured trying to get two bodies would yeah. be better than That's fair. Than that. With collected company, are you able to pick cards from your hand? No. Oh. Just the top six? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly, but I probably should have brought no, the card I mean, more. it would have been... It'd be nice. It'd be super it would, it would sweet. It would be nuts if you could just pick cards from You're your like, hand. You're like, no, I don't want any of these. I'll just <laughs> take these two here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what, um, that's what makes collected company like that much better advantage though. You get to keep your hand completely intact yeah. and then two others. Two it does free cards. it does limit you though because you can't play anything bigger than three. Yeah. Um, so that does kinda of stink sometimes. Well I imagine you just don't run cards that mana heavy. No. No, yeah. Yeah, the only four drops you play are the uh, collected companies. Of course. Which also, I guess, makes it a lot easier, too, because it's like, you just have to live off of, you can live off of free mana, so. Um, That's true. Which makes it, you know, it's lower to the ground. Makes it a lot easier. All right, good luck. You too. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to keep this. Um, I will as well. All right. Um, I'll just play a swamp. Play Cauldron Familiar. Go to twenty-one. Yeah. And take that one damage. Yep. And pass. Like your first hand. I'll start with a Hollow Thumb. Yeah. I will pass. All right. Draw. Play a Mountain. Yeah. Tap. Play Blood Tith Harvester. Okay. Make a blood token. Combat phase. Swing for one. Eighteen. And I'll pass. People that like math, the average CMT was two point zero eight. Yeah. And I swapped one land for three drop. That makes the Play Misky pathway. Okay. But I was like, oh, this we got the branch walker to explore. Alright. I will pass. Draw a card. I'll play... Bloodfell Caves tapped. Go to 22. Yep. Well, this doesn't feel good, but I'll just swing with both these guys. Um, block here. Okay. We'll trade. Take one. I'll just 17. Okay. Alright, second main phase. Tap two mana. Play another one. God, you help. Second blood token. And I'll pass to you. Skyclave Apparition. All right. Target the Harvester. Oh. Uh, is that when it enters the battlefield? Yep. When it enters the battlefield, exile with one target, non land, non target, oh, okay. permit, you don't control it. Yeah, and I can't even tap them yet because you just entered, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, that's a lot of the best, <laughs> the best time yeah, to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will pass it for that. Okay. On top. Draw a card. Gonna play a swamp. Yep. One, two, three, 
Mirror Breaker. Nice. Makes it 2-2, two -two, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it makes it 2-2, two -two, so I'm gonna grab that. 2-2 yeah. two -two goblins out. Yep. And I think I'll just uh, pass this time. Play a botanical sanctum to tear. Um, so, what happens on like, if I play that? Can I only play this one here now? So, I can just sacrifice Merkel to counter the non creature spells. Got it. Almost like paying extra mana. You don't, yeah, so like it's your choice if you pay one or not. Got it. Um, okay. Alright. Wanna play so a Mausoleum Wonder? Okay. The cost instead of paying mana is sacrifice. And then. Play a remorseful cleric. Yeah, it'll. That's the graveyard yeah. exile. Yep. And I will pass. All right. I'm drawing my card. This ticks up to two. I'm going to discard a card, and I'll draw a card. Gotcha. Yeah, because that's uh. Yeah, because you can you can only do that sort of. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go to my turn then. Mm. All right. Well, I think I'll. I feel like you're gonna block, but I'm gonna go to combat phase. Swing with this guy. Swing with the two two, huh? Make a treasure token. It's shiny, so it's treasure. <laughs> that works. Um. No blocks. Out of 15. Okay. Uh -huh. Second main phase. I'm going to Blood Chief's Thirst the Wanderer. Uh, I'll sack it in response to okay. counter it unless you pay one. I'll pass on that. Okay. And then <laughs> I'm going to pay three, put down another Fable of Mirror Breaker, okay. and make another 2-2 two, two token. Okay. But this one's untapped. Right. Just two and this points. is, there you go. And I will pass the turn. Well, sorry, it's a 3-2 because of the hex catcher. Um. Now I can do it. Yes, you can do that for me. Uh, you have plenty of mana. So it's a 1-1. One, one. Loses abilities. You have one card? Yep. It's a legitimate business person. Yes. Pass. I think I'm uh, finally on blocking duty here. Probably should have blocked that guy last turn. Be honest, but... Well, that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, that's untapped. Yep. All right, this one switches. That's the reflection now. That one goes to two. Yep. And I'm not going to discard any cards, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yep. Just make sure, because you you've got two blood tokens and one treasure, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of dice on the yeah. field. Um, I think I will pay... One mana, throw out Witch's Oven. Throw out an oven. Well, that's going to be super detrimental. Stupid cat. Play a secluded Does that uh, resolve? Yeah. Okay. And uh, combat phase, I'm going to swing with these three. Yeah, so you make two treasures. You have two treasure tokens. Move to box. Alright. Okay. Um, in response to the blockers, I'm going sure. to sack the cat for a food token. Uh, pretend this is a food token, I guess. And I guess in these trade, right? Um, or, so, that oh, just I, reads it. Oh, actually, that's a good question, because I, I would probably want to bring this out as a response to you trying to sacrifice that. Yeah, so, and I don't think there's a way I can interact with it. Sack creature. 
So a sec creature create a food. Yeah, sacrifice a food. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have a judge question. Yeah, we'll it's, you're going to have to see it. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no. Kitty cat combo. <laughs> Kitty cat combo I rule against every yeah. time. Just oh, no. So he activates witch's oven. Uh-huh. Tap, sacrifice creature, sacks the cat. The cat is in the graveyard as the abilities are on abilities the stack. On the stack. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So they are. So then, yeah, in response to that being on the stack, I'll crack the cleric to exile the graveyard. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's before the before food, the food is created. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right because this is the cost. Of that. That's the yeah. I was trying to figure out if, like that's the cost or if like. Okay. So so none of the tokens die. No, this this guy's gonna yeah. this guy's gonna get sacrificed. Gonna exile that. You'll still get a food. All right. Um, I take two. Yeah, that's right. Go to thirteen. And yes, that's that's good. Okay. No, I did not. Here go. All right, and your turn. Collect the company. All right. Um. Nothing now. I can cast it for two more with Flash. We're going to go with this this Rattle Chains is and Supreme Fate. Okay. Two okay. <laughs> My turn? Yep. Now I can actually block that stupid. <laughs> uh. I will move to combat. All right. Attack you for three in the air. Sure. Now I'm wondering if I 19. could have like killed the cat and then like made a food token as a response to you trying to exile the graveyard. But that's uh, probably it's whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would have probably been the only way to do it. Oh, um, you do let the cat die. Yeah, and like but sacrifice like, another thing to make a food token. And then sacrifice that food token. Yeah, to, to bring it back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to do a second main phase, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will pass. All right. Uh, at the end step, I think I'm going to sacrifice one of these tokens. And go oh, with uh, Bill No, okay. I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, sure. All right. That resolves. Draw two cards. What's this card doing? It gives my, my spirits flash. Yeah. And you have like five cards in hand? Four. Four. I feel like you might have a response if I try to do something else. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna... Wow. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I mean, with Rattle Chains, I always have a response, right? True, true. Oh. Um, Unless think... they're all lands. <laughs> I'm gonna tap this Sacrifice of Blood token. Discard a card, draw a card. Yep. Okay. Then I'll go to my turn. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Yep. Oh, we got to untap this one. Yeah. Alright, this ticks up to three, yep. so I get another reflection of Kiki Jiki. Yep. This is also untapped. Yep. Okay. I think I'm going to try to pay a mana. And I'd like to try to take your Supreme Phantom. Take my Supreme Phantom? Yes. Hey, just hold up that dice light snare, huh? Oh, that's super unfortunate. Um, yep. Okay. I can get the gold, dude. All right. Now it's my phantom. <laughs> All right. Still my main phase, so I'm going to tap four. Go down to two treasure tokens. Yep. And I'm going to play Henrika. 
Let's that. Have that for uh, Oh, sorry. It's a vampire. That's a that lot, you, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it lets me pick stuff. Yeah, sorry, 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 you choose one. Each player sacks a creature. You draw a card, lose another transform. Yeah. Do you mind if I look at the back? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just a 3 4 that can buff the right now, creature. Flying Death Touch Lifelink. 3 4. That's a lot. Yeah. I figured it would be good to have at least one flyer yeah. against. It seems fine. Yep. All right, that resolves and all that? That does resolve, yes. All right. And then. Let's see. I think I will pay one mana to create a. Oh, wait, this one doesn't have haste. Or it, 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 I'll just pay one mana to create a copy of this 2 2 temporarily. Okay. And then I'll go to combat phase. Prior to combat. So before you move to combat. Sure. Flash and Skyclave operation? Eat that. Okay, um, yeah. Sorry. Okay, because that's four cost or less. Hmm, that is tricky. Yeah, I don't think I should use my oven, because then <laughs> I can't sacrifice your phantom later. It's fish, everything's bait. Darn, I wanted to uh, make us both sacrifice something. Yeah, oh, I'm sure you did, yeah. All right, well... I guess in combat phase, I'll swing with the one three and these two two twos. One three and the two two twos. All right, I will take five. You make two treasures. Yep. We'll go to eight. All right. Um, second main phase. I'm going to sacrifice. Second dude? No, I'm gonna sacrifice oh, Phantom. I'm sorry. Fine. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I would have. You make a food, right? All right. Yep. I think, that one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I should probably remember. And I got, I got you. Yeah. The, like, the shiny one is treasure tokens. <laughs> These are blood tokens, which should be red, by the way. I don't have a red oh die. My gosh. Oh gosh, you have so many dice. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now, okay, now. it's like red and black. So yeah, that, that works. Even better. All right, I'll I'll sacrifice one treasure token, play out a cauldron from the. Ah, uh, kitty cat. And then I'll go to twenty, if that resolves. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, and then you go to seven. seven yeah. Uh, dumb kitty cat. Yep. And I think that's my turn. I was waiting until you said they are because I waited to have the scenario. So he's plus one for All I have is creatures and more creatures. And you actually have some spells. Yeah. So like and I feel like a baby help could help a lot. Yeah. I mean, and, like, that's what a lot of my creatures do. So just, like, trying to get in chip damage. And then if, if that resolved, I would have just passed buff all the merfolks. Yeah, I would have just... Yeah. All right. That's a good game. I'm going to play an unlicensed Hurst. Oh, nice. play slow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're playing... Well, it's just... I will pass. So tap, exile up to two target cards from a single card. Um, your turn. Alright. That's everything, I guess. Do you have like. Sorry, uh, if you have like, like a little bit of 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 a I guess, you didn't target I guess it would be more valuable to make these guys instead of, well, so I'll gain life from that one. That would be basically the same, I feel like. Combat fit, or no, 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 I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm not, not, not I, I, combat, yeah, yeah, prior to combat. Yeah, yeah. I'll tap two mana. I'm gonna make copies of things. So these are copies of the two two treasure makers. Okay. Right. And 
I think for... I think I will go to combat phase. Mm -hmm. And I'll attack with yeah. all four of these treasure makers and the cauldron familiar too. And the cauldron familiar. Alright. I'm gonna flash into phantom. Okay. I get four treasure tokens. You, yeah. As, yeah. So I'm at six treasure. So. These will block. Pay full price. Stupid game. It's still three mana against two flux cards. Yeah. So um, it's still a good mana advantage. These will block two twos. <laughs> this will block a two two. And then I'll take. Oh, uh, and then. I assume you're yeah. trying to kill the ones that don't get sacrificed? Correct. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing you actually didn't play that for you very well is drawing too many Shackle Geists. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I just had an army of encounters. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything. And I think yeah. that's it. So I'd take three. Okay. Three damage from these guys? Yeah, from these two. Yeah. Okay. Two All right. So these two die. I go to four. Had two bar right. pathways, which could have gone real quickly. Because uh, I need double blue for just about everything. Okay. And yeah. then when I. When and I uh, I'll end my turn. These guys are So the end of your turn. Well, will exile two cards from your graveyard. So um, so just cast the wind robber. Just choose the oven and the mountain. The wind robber seems okay. like a really good card. A lot of people are running Benthic Biomancer, right. which is a yep. one on one. You can pay two to adapt it, which is if it doesn't have a one on counter. Is it too late to buy respond to by sacrificing this guy? Uh, I mean, you do it at the end of your turn or end of my turn. Yeah, that's fair. To, um, yeah. They can't adjust. I, I mean, I was watching you just like, yeah. I've been wanting to build this one. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to figure out how to kill you before you kill me with a cat. Yeah, actually, uh, I'll just try to kill you with the cat, <laughs> making clones of them. Yeah, I think that's, the, that's definitely the way to go. I've been just wondering, yes. Or maybe I'll yeah. draw some other funny fun spell. <laughs> yeah. Since you have food tokens, I don't think there's a way to catch the cat in the graveyard now. That's the problem. That's true. Unless I can exile all your food tokens. <laughs> or your oven. Yeah, get a temporary yeah. lockdown or something. Yeah, their apparition is what it is. Um, so I think we just put in an Empyrean Eagle. Okay. Um, and then move to combat. So you're going to have three guys. Attack you for two or three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, because uh, this is only flyers. Yeah, these two don't fly. Yep. All right, I'll go to ten health. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Pass. Hmm. So I'm wondering, if I sacrifice my cat and tried to bring him back, would you be able to exile my dude as a response to the sacrificing a food token? Uh, yeah, but you just, you just do it again. Oh, yeah. 
That's fair. So I can't get around it. Yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try to do that then. And I'll sacrifice him for a food token. Mm -hmm. And then I'll sacrifice a food token to get him back. So target the yeah. Spot, yeah. Then I'll target that and uh, claim, I guess. Okay. Then I will do that effect again to yep. get him from the graveyard. Yep. So you still have one food left, right? Yep. yep. And uh, I go to 11. I go 3. Yep. <laughs> Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll play a cave, go to 12. Pay two mana, make two cat copies. I go to 14, you go to one. Um, combat phase, I'll swing with all three. I'm flashing a mausoleum water. Okay. And Black out three. So that's all they gotta do. I'm gonna sacrifice the cat. You don't cat. even sacrifice the cat. Oh, I mean, you can. I tapped out already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll sacrifice the cat to make a food token. Yep. And then I will sacrifice a food to token to bring yep. the cats. I think yeah. that's game. I see it's tapped out. You don't even have to at that point. You can just let it die and just sack, sack the food. Oh, yeah. I guess it's true. But I, I want the food token. Yeah, but you still can sack one of the other tokens. Yeah. Or one of the reflections or anything. True, I guess you're right. And then you have, because then you have double food token backup. That's a good point. But I like the reflection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That was a long one. Yeah. I don't know if Henrika's a good sideboard, because... Well, you have a lot of of those apparitions, it seems, which are good for dealing with my big. Yeah. I think I just need to hope that I draw the claim to firstborn, because that seems pretty decent. Not dealing with your small dude. <laughs> yeah. Claim's not bad. Kitty cat combo. It works sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be on the play? I will be on the play, yes. Hopefully with a better start than what I had. Gotcha. Definitely a little slow and a little reactive. I think that hurt. You were stuck blocking for a while. Yeah. Yeah, not being able to do a whole lot really kind of... So, I mean, the problem was I bottlenecked on three mana spells in my hand. Oh. So I couldn't double spell. Um, that was the, the biggest problem. So it was like a three mana and a two mana. If I had one more, I would have been able to. Oops. I feel like I just hit my cards against each other. Ooh. Uh, I think it only bounces creatures. <laughs> Alright, go. You too. Thank you. How does this even happen? Oh, the first reason I thought I found my face. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. I guess I could hope I draw into good cards. <laughs> yeah, that's about where I'm at right now. So. All right. Yeah, I'll try this too. All right. I'm gonna play this um, blue, and I will pass. All right. I'll draw a card. I'll play Bloodfell Caves. Go to 21. 
and pass. Spectral sailor. Wait. Take my turn. Play and I got you. Attack you fool. Okay. Can go to 20? Yep. Pass. Draw a card. Going to play a swamp. Yep. What could you do for two mana? I'm wondering. Everything. I guess you have um... and nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll try. I'll try it out. I'm gonna play one mana. Cauldron familiar. Yep. All right. I'll go to twenty one. Again, the twenty one. It's always gonna be. Yep. <laughs> and I'll pay one mana, which is ugly. Already? Yeah, I, I drew into it. It's right. crazy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass to you. All right, end of your turn. Flashing around, James. Gotcha. Give itself expert. Why, 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 why? I kept two lands. I was like, I need to draw a land. Oh no. That's good. Uh, three. Okay, I'll go to 18. Yes. Um, at your end step, I'll sacrifice Cauldron Familiar, sacrifice food, and bring it back. That seems fine. Go to 19. 19. Yep. Right. Untap. Draw a card. Wow. Right. I'll play a swap. Yep. Tap three. Play Mayhem Devil. Mayhem Devil. And that one's the whenever something dies, you ping no, something. Uh, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, it deals one damage to any target. Nice. Okay. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, don't worry. It's not that great. No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Missing land drop really hurt there. I'll I'll pass my turn. End your turn. Flash and land water. All right. In response, I'm going to tap this. In response or after it? Or I guess. Oh, that's a good point because I'd probably want to ping it. So, so you, yeah, I mean, if you want to ping it, it has to resolve. Yeah, let let. I guess I'll let it resolve. And is there opportunity after that to do stuff? After that. Yeah, so priority, like you passing, so I have an action. I make my action, and then you have to pass, and then I have to pass for the turn to turn over. Oh, so okay, yes, okay. I wasn't exactly sure how yep. that worked, but All right, I'll sacrifice this for a food token. Yep. I'm going to ping this for one damage. All right. Then I'm going to sacrifice a food token to bring him back. Yep. I'll ping this for one damage. Uh, I go to 17, you go to 20. Yep. So, yeah, All right. All set? Yep, here we go. Shock that play, you go to 15. Skyclave Apparition. Okay. Um, we're going to hit the oven. Okay. That could pick any permanent? Yep, any non land permanent. Nice. Non land, non token permanent, sorry. Gotcha. Um, and then it'll just return as a 1 1. You'll get a you get a one one spirit, yeah. Or one one illusion. Yes. Um, combat. One. Okay. I go to nineteen. Pass. Draw a card. That does mess with things a bit. I'll play my land. Go to twenty. Mm -hmm. I'll go to combat phase. Swing for three damage. Yeah, I'm not blocking. Not that guy. He was too big. I have a 12. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll pay three mana. Yep. Throw in another mana double. Oh, okay. And I will pass to you. You did pick a good time to get rid of the oven. Yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> uh, that is very good to know. Um, did you ever play it, like, a lot? All right, I'm going to play Barchamp Pathway, I agree. Um, 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 Oh, I'm gonna pass. Okay. 
Probably wrong, but we'll see. Draw my card? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to pay two life. Blitz out Tenacious Underdog. Um. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we're just going to have to exile target spell for me. It costs four or less. Okay. And then I get to cast I, that for free. Yep. If it dies. Yep. Okay. And I'll go to combat phase. Yep. I'll swing with the two devils. Two devils. Double block one of them. Okay. <laughs> Three damage then? Yeah, and then you get a one one. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, you okay. go. I was You're tapped out, so I figured. <laughs> Alright, um, this guy can block a 1 1, so that's okay right now, I guess. Pass. Okay. How many cards do you have in hand? Uh, three. Well, I'll tap three, play another Mayhem Devil, I respond. Collect a copy? Sure. Wow. That is really, really bad. One creature off of all that. Oh no. Yeah, that was a horrible collected company. Okay. Yep. You have a devil. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what happens if I kill this guy? You cast the other card. Oh, without paying the mana. Okay, that's interesting. Um, would that inc could I cast it for its blitz cost? Probably not. No, I believe you have to cast blitz from your hand. That would make sense. Well, or the graveyard yeah, specifically yeah, this, for that this one. Card, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pay. I mean, you can ask Matt. You want to make sure. I'll I'll trust you. <laughs> well, now you have an eagle out, so I'm not sure if I want to kill him or the eagle. Because the eagle's gonna buff the dudes. But you only have two cards in hand, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna definitely cast Bone Splinters, though. Sacrifice the 1 1 counter, okay. or, to or whatever it is. Yep. And I'm going to destroy Spellcaller, I think. Okay. And that'll, then I'll cast Tenacious Underdog to the battlefield. And you deal two damage to something, right? Oh, yeah. I'll to your face. Seems pretty good. Yep, I'll pass to you. Okay. Uh, well, I, I really thought about making a counter video that was like correct. Did you attack? And said, oh, that's a good. In my world, well, I <laughs> think. But I oh, that's. Like, a... it's not worth my time. Can somebody even really oh, I must have not untapped him because he was sideways, said, right? I feel like I should yeah, have I don't attacked. Think you, I don't think you attacked. Oh, okay. So I guess I cast all that you, on my you, main. That yeah, was my main phase. Yeah, did right? you cast this? Okay. And then in response, I cast the collected company. Okay, then I'm just going to swing for three damage, because yeah. this just entered the battlefield. Yeah. So I'll go to four. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Out. A lot happened there, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of thinking. All set? Yep. How do I get out of this? 
minimum of five hundred to a thousand dollars in real high grade. They're expensive. Just uh, uh, cast so farewell. Yeah, I don't even have a mana for that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Path of uh, peril. Yeah, that doesn't work either. You make it exceptional paper quality. Oh, sorry, sixty-nine. Wrong lands. Oh right, I totally <laughs> forgot that. For some reason, I thought it was a white. Uh, depopulate. It still don't have enough mana for it. Isn't depopulate? Oh, is that one? That's the four mana one, right? Yeah, but it yeah. makes multicolor. Yeah, it's so it's a weird one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I have so to do like, this. Skyclave apparition. Yeah, Which one? Still uh, a devil. All right. And, like, and I will. Yes. You're not gonna find okay. I think being on blocking duty is not gonna matter. I think you've yeah, got you this one. So Draw my card. Play a mountain. Mm -hmm. so Play Blood Tip Harvester. Mm -hmm. on the Blood Token. Mm -hmm. so and. You look at Freebird number 235, same story. There's hundreds that only buffs of flying creatures, huh? Correct. Yep. So, and that's, I'll and like, attack that's with. Common. That's a common note. All three. Oh, so you talk about stuff right. that has population. Well, I gotta block the two in all big dudes or I just die, right? No. Well, you don't want to take you more than three high. damage on the suiting. <laughs> yeah. Sure, to figure out what's the and like, you gotta assume that each best way to do this. It's just probably block Tenacious top. Underdog. No, yeah, I can't block Tenacious on Yeah, because I'll because bring him back next four. turn. So how do, like, you said... That I'm dead next turn like anyway, I think. It takes, like, a decade to collect 200 of... I don't something. think, yeah. yeah. I have to block like, like this. Okay, okay. you're blocking the cat. He's like, oh, I don't want this in my collection anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay. think I have a choice, a lot of, so... Well, so it depends I'm going to sacrifice the cat, draw two cards. Yep. Do one to me. Oh, yeah, one damage to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... And that's three damage. Yep, and that's like three. Yep. Yeah, I don't think there's a way, like... I had the answer for the underdog in the graveyard. I had the Illuminator. Oh. So I could exile it, so I wasn't worried about you casting that back. Gotcha. Um, I was just way too far behind. Yeah, the land yeah. being stuck on those seems pretty bad. Yeah, again, but... It is what it is. Good games. Good games.